Some people say it's what's on the inside that counts. Now, if that's true, this video is all about what really counts. In this video, we have the arm of the office chair that we've been working on, and I'd like to use that to illustrate some of the next parts of making drawings in a Libre. First, I'll go to Send To and make a drawing, as we've done before. And then from here, I'll add an isometric view, and all the other default settings are great for me. So we'll click OK. And those are our views. We'll move this up a little bit. Now I may want to have a view that I can't insert from our standard uh, views over here. I might want to have a cross section of my arm, but since it goes all the way around, you can't get a cross section of it. So we'll have to make another kind of view, a section view, to get a cross section out of this. So first, I can go to my Sheets and Views tab, and I'll select Section View right here. And when I click on Section View, I'll choose what view I would like to section. And from here, you can see an active sketch is brought up on the ribbon. And I can use a sketch line. I have the vertical constraint to section out exactly what part I'd like to have on my drawing. So we'll say that this is good. We'll deactivate the sketch. And now I can go back to Sheets and Views, select my section, and simply say that I want this sketch to section out my view. And I can move my cursor to decide which side I would like to view. I'll choose this side. And there's my section. And you can tell that the cross section here is already hatched to show us that we're looking into material right there. You'll also notice that in our tree over here, we have not just a list of all of our views, but all of the section views that we've made as well. And I can move this along wherever I'd like. So you'll notice that this is aligned right now. But I can choose to unalign and move this section view wherever I'd like. Now it may also occur to us that it's not quite enough to just have a section view, but we need it to be a reasonable size so that when you look at the cross section, you're not uh, squinting your eyes really, really hard to make out what is going on there. So maybe we'll wanna have something that shows the details of this view. And fortunately, we also have detail view. If I come up to sheets and views, I can select detail right here. And when I do, the same thing. I say which view I want to have a detail view on. I'm taken to a sketch. And I don't have to have a circle, right? I could also use, say, an ellipse if I would like to do that. But I simply sketch out an ellipse or a circle or a rectangle or whatever I'd like to have connected to my detail view. And when I'm done, I exit the sketch. I go back to sheets and views. I select detail view and there we have a detail. This detail view is still pretty small, but as before, we're able to go to change scale and be able to make that a one-to-one -one dimension. And I can always replace my detail A text where I would like to have it. So now we can see all of the nice details in our view. So that's how we do section and detail views in Alibre drawings. And that is how we do section views. So remember, it's what's on the inside that counts. But we've just scratched the surface on what Alibre can do for views. Tune in the next one for even more view options.